Welcome to all in this class. Today we are going to discuss one of the important chapter of financial management which is commonly known as leverage. First question arises, what does it mean by leverage? Leverage is in general considered one kind of risk measurement tools. To organize our business, there are certain kinds of risk always be associated. Now, how to measure the risk? To measuring that risk, we are going to use the tools of leverage. Now, in general sense, leverage can be considered in simpler sense one kind of risk. One kind of risk. Now, there are certain categories of measuring such risk also. The basic motto to learn this chapter of leverage to determine or rather calculate the various kinds of risk of a business. Now risk. In the perspective of business, a risk can be categorized in two parts. One is operating risk, another one is financial risk. There may be another risk which also considered, taken into consideration that is Combined risk, combined risk, or sometimes it is also called as total risk. How such risks are associated into the business? Once you follow the category of such risks, you can easily understand operating risk. Mostly, operating risk is associated with. your fixed expenses with your fixed expenses financial risk that is associated with your debt capital it is mostly associated with your debt capital now to clarify that operating risk financial risk and combined risk we just need to know few parameters such parameters are related to income statement of a business, profit and loss statement of a business. Now before go through in detail of that operating risk, financial risk and combined risk, let me give you people a brief of income statement in this regards. Say income statement of a organization. Let me give you a brief. The origin of income statement is called as sales. From sales, first we deduct all operating expenses or variable expenses. Fixed cost or fixed expenses are static expenses. It is not directly proportionate with production volume. Or rather, I must say, it is not directly proportionate to the sales. Now, after deducting this to the balance, you may to assess known as EBIT. Okay? EBIT, once we deduct interest, the balance you made to us is known as EBT. From EBT or earning before tax, once we deduct tax, the balance you made to us is known as PAT or profit after tax. Now, now how such income statement is related to the uh, leverage? Now, as a, now, how to measure operating risk, financial risk, and combined risk? Operating risk. It can be measured, measured as it can be measured as degree of operating risk or degree of operating leverage. In short, it is it is known as DOL. Degree of operating leverage. In short, it is DOL. The formula of operating leverage is contributions divided by divided by EBIT or contribution by EBIT financial leverage financial leverage degree of financial risk or financial leverage it is in short D known as DFL how to calculate degree of financial leverage it is very simple 
it is basically EBIT by EBT. Okay. That is why all such particular components are very much important in case of Redix calculations. Okay, these two are the main risk to masses. And number three is quite common. It is in short known as DCL, which is very simple to calculate. It is multiple form of DOL and DFL of total or combined leverage. In short, DCL. The formula of degree of combined leverage is DOL into DFL. It is a multiple effect of operating leverage and financial leverage. How degree of operating leverage portrayed? I must say here, degree of operating leverage or DOL, DOL, the DOL is basically related to your fixed expenses. Your fixed expenses. Okay. And similarly, DFL, DFL is also related to your interest. Well, how such things are interrelated? Let me clarify the matter. So, suppose the DOL in first case, what is the formula? Contribution by EBIT. At first case, your contribution is 40 and EBIT is unequal for interest and tax is 30. It is simply 40 divided by 30. Okay? And 40 divided by 30, it will come approx 1.33 and 44 divided by 34, you are getting over here 1.29. Just degree of financial leverage. What is the formula? That is EBIT by EBT. Again, if you pay more and more amount of interest, in that case your financial leverage is always be go up. Financial leverage is directly proportionate with interest. Interest arise, interest basically arise in regards of loan capital. Okay, whatever capital we have collected from the market as a loan, we have to pay certain amount of interest on the basis of the loan. And that is why it is one kind of charges, one kind of burden of our income statement. If you take more and more amount of loan, in that case obviously you have to pay more and more amount of interest. Okay. The financial leverage it is EBIT by EBT. Now let's calculate financial leverage in both cases. DFL. Degree of financial leverage. Formula is EBIT by EBT. At first case your EBIT is 30, whereas your EBT is 20. Then it should be 30 by 20. At second case it is 1. In second case, if you follow, your EBIT is 30, whereas your EBT is 15. You are getting exactly 2. Same structure of the business is same income statement. If you pay more amount of interest, in that case, obviously, your DFL or operating leverage is all will also go up. I discussed still just let me give you a brief leverage as I said that leverage is basically your tools on which you can easily manage to uh, you can have easily manage to measure the different kinds of risk of a business mostly three kinds of risk we try to measure in case of any business one is operating risk another one is financial risk another one is combined risk how to calculate operating risk financial risk and combined risk I mean it is totally dependent upon your income statement because the parameters like all such figures we basically collect from that income statement and based on, based on such parameters we try to calculate the risk of any business. Also, if you took more and more amount of interest loan in that case your financial risk will increases. Similarly if you invest more and more amount as a overhead charges as a fixed expenses in that case your operating risk will also 